Okay, so we have a ball that moves around using this velocity vector uh, based on the laws of physics. And it's got gravity also pushing down on it every time. So remember, uh, this one line here is gravity. And uh, these two, well, this change, uh, this set is new location based on its velocity vector, x and y velocity. And uh, this is gravity here. So gravity only changes the y velocity by minus uh, 0.1. So, and so what I want to do now is have the ball bounce off the edges. Right, right now it just gets to the edge and kind of gets stuck there. That's annoying. So what's a bounce? How do we implement a bounce? Uh, let's say I want the ball to bounce off of this vertical wall right here. And let's say the ball is coming and this is the last vector, right? So the ball is here and then it gets to this vector. So now the ball is going to be on the wall. Uh, I want it to bounce. I want it to bounce uh, like that, right? So I want, if this is the vector, it delivers the ball into the wall, then what I want really is the new vector to be this one. Uh, that's a bounce. You can see if it was coming this way, you know, coming here, here, you know, boom. That's how a ball bounces. Um, so, so what I want to do, what I need is to generate this vector here from the last vector. And that turns out to be easy. Uh, so because uh, this vector here, you know, has this x value, uh, and then this vector here has this x uh, value, the x velocity, or the x component. Uh, but in our program, we call this the x velocity, velocity, right, right this guy right here. Um, so if this x velocity was, say, 1, you, you notice they have the same size, right? It's just that this one goes from here to here, and this one is from here to here. So uh, this is just minus x velocity. The new one is just the negative of the old one. And for the y velocity, which is uh, from here to here, and from here to here, those are both identical. So y velocity didn't change at all, only x velocity got negative. So when it hits this wall, uh, x velocity changes to the negative. And uh, if you, you know, you don't have to do this yourself, but if you look, think about this wall over here, this other vertical wall, it's the same thing. It's just that now the x velocity is negative and then it becomes positive, right? So it's been negative one and then positive one and the y velocity again stays the same. So when you hit a vertical wall, uh, the x velocity, uh, all you to bounce from a vertical wall, all you're doing is changing the x velocity to a negative version of it and keeping the y velocity the same. And to bounce off the floor or the ceiling, that's a horizontal wall. Again, it's, it's coming this way, it's going to bounce, say, that way. So uh, the x components here, you know, from here to here and, and from here to here are both the same. So the x velocity now are the same, but now the y velocity is from here to here. Let's say it was a minus one because it was moving down, but from here to here is going to be one because it's now moving up. So when you hit the horizontal wall, your y velocity gets multiplied by negative one. When you hit the vertical walls, the x velocity gets multiplied by negative one. So let's do that. Uh, so uh, here is when I change my x direction and y direction. So after that is when I want to check. And the way I, I'm going to need to do this is um, it's not this one. It's a uh, uh, sensing. Sorry, no sensing. If I am touching. Uh, an edge. So one problem we have, stop. <laughs> one problem we have here is the center of the ball is right here, but you know we actually want the ball to bounce there, right? And so Scratch has this nice touching edge. So I know if the ball is touching the edge, and I know the ball is say right here or you know right here, so I don't know which edge it is. I just know that it's touching one or more or two edges, right? It could be like right here or something. Um, so I don't know which edge. So this is good, uh, but it's not the whole thing. So if I'm touching an edge, that means that I'm say, let's say I'm right here. 
So at that point, my x location is uh, 218. Um, so, so yeah, anyway, I, I need to distinguish which of uh, these four edges I'm touching. Right? So let's do the, uh, uh, the x axis first or the vertical walls first. So if I am over here, uh, that means that I'm touching uh, this one. So I want, uh, if I'm touching that, what I'm going to need is, I'm going to need another if statement here. If I'm touching an edge, and then if my x coordinate is uh, bigger than, If, uh, where's my x position? So if my x position is uh, like right now is 219, um, I'm there. So if my x position is bigger than two, we'll give it a little 215, right? So if it's Probably balances two sixty two fifteen, right? So that means I'm definitely here. Then then I'm in this edge. Um, so that's good. So that means you know this is only going to be true if the ball is somewhere you know in this area here. Um, so I want that, or you know I also want to take if I'm touching this other one because in both cases I'm just going to multiply by negative one. So I'm gonna say if it's touching that one or with the or operator uh, or I need to put that I don't think I can if that or is on the other side if it's on the other side then x is less than 215 Uh, less than negative 250, sorry. So all that goes in there. Okay, let me clean this up over here. So, so okay, so I'm touching an edge and I am either at the left side or the right side, so that means I need to change uh, my x velocity or set my x velocity, sorry. Start. set my x velocity to x velocity times negative one durations I need to multiply so I need to multiply my x velocity ah. It's negative one, and uh, and then I need to do it all over again for the top and the bottom. Okay, so if uh, I'm gonna do the or if I need it greater than and less than. position but now it's going to be the y position y position and uh, what is the y position so I'll put it over here uh, the y position is now is like 160 159 um, so it's just to be safe, we'll put it at 155. So Y position is bigger than 155 or smaller than negative 155. Let's double check that. So there it is at negative 156, yeah. 
And then in that case, then I'm going to set the y velocity. If it's down that way, that means it's just, I'm going to bounce that baby. So I'm going to set, wait a minute. I'm going to set is y velocity to y velocity times minus one. So, I'm going to get this back up here out of the way. So, that's it. So, I should be able to move this guy here, start him. And so, gravity takes over. He goes down, accelerates, accelerates, and boing. And then he goes up, gravity starts to take over. And I'm moving to Pressing the left arrow, so it'll go left a little bit, see if it bounces off that side too. So it goes boing, boing. Um, you'll probably want to put your own sound effects so that you don't have to make the boing noise every time. That's easy to do in Scratch, so press the left arrow there. Right arrow, so he's bouncing there. Let's see if I can get him to bounce. Just up, 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 So, so now, now, there you go. You have a bouncing ball. Um, and so this this principle here, what we just did here, uh, that I showed you, you know, all this vector, you know, all this multiplying there, uh, and you know, if you want to represent the math, all we're all we're doing is uh, adding uh, vector addition. Well, in this case, we multiplied it by minus one. So we said the velocity equals. Uh, um, the old velocity times negative uh, times, well, this vector, which is minus one, one, uh, in, you know, in the case for the, you're multiplying the x by negative one. So uh, we're just multiplying vectors. So when you multiply vectors, uh, you can get, you can uh, represent what we just did here by just a simple vector multiplication like this. Uh, B1 times B2. Uh, and uh, this part over here that we're doing here, adding the gravity that I showed you, uh, this is you were just adding the vector, right? So we're saying that uh, if the ball is moving with this velocity, uh, we're adding, uh, let's say we'll call it G, the gravity vector. B plus G is the new velocity. So this is, we're just doing some vector addition there and uh, vector multiplication here. And you might want to uh, learn a little bit more about that uh, just to help you talk about these things with you know, a few symbols. Uh, but. So there's the bouncing ball. And I also point out that you know, once you have this, this whole business here of uh, detecting the edges and bouncing off, you know, the same way you bounce, we're bouncing off an edge, uh, we can bounce off a platform, right? So you almost have a platform game. You can add platforms and detect instead of you're touching an edge, maybe you're touching the platform and uh, you can bounce off it. Uh, similarly, you can decide, let's make a change to this. If, uh, you know, we decide I don't want to bounce, I just want to stop you can multiply by zero. You know, which basically just means setting it to zero. But if I do that, uh, let's say the ball is going to start, it's going to start moving, and it just goes down because of gravity. And then when it hits the bottom, it's just going to stay there. Right? So it doesn't bounce. Um, and hit the up, if I hit the up arrow, um, eventually <laughs> it will start to go up. Right? So zero, of course, means it's going to get stuck. Uh, you can also have it like multiply by negative five, and that means like super bounce. <laughs> so you can run that, and then it's gonna go down, and then when it hits, then and boom, and then every time it hits, it's gonna go faster. And yeah, so it's not good. <laughs> uh, you see what it did, right? Every time it hits the wall, it just gets faster and faster. Um, so. It's probably not what you want to do. 
Um, so that's it.